Hello, my name is Andrew, and in this training video, I'm going to show you how to log into your new shop and kind of work your way around the system uh, and, and see how to set up categories, put products in, and just set up your, your shop so that you can start doing business online. So the first thing you want to do is go to your login page, uh, which you should have that in email uh, for your login. Once you do that, you put in your email address here, as well as the password that was sent to you. Um, in our case, we have this one. So once we do that, we're going to click the login here. We get right into our uh, back office area. Now that we're in our back office, you'll notice that there's these tabs up here at the top. All of these tabs run the store mainly. If you click on one tab like catalog, you'll see these sub tabs pop up underneath here. Okay, so we'll go over some of these a little bit in, in some other videos probably. But for now, um, this is the catalog area. If you come down in here, you'll see here's where you can add a new subcategory. We've got three of them here. Like we've got some iPods, accessories, and laptops. And then if you come down here, you see we've got uh, an area where we can add products to the home section right here, as well as here's the products. Now this home section, any products that are in this section will be on your home page of your website. So like your featured products page. So uh, keep that in mind for later when you want to put a product on your home page. So anyway, if we come up here, we see these different categories. If we wanted to, we would usually just highlight that, delete all these to where, you know, these are just ones that come in the shop. So you delete those to start over. When you start over, uh, you would click on this add a new subcategory here and you would put in your name. So let's say I want to put in baseball. OK, and displayed is like that. And we got home. It's going to be in the home area here. Now description. I personally just type baseball, but <clears throat> for keyword sake and stuff, you could put stuff in there like um, baseball and uh, uh, baseball. I'm sorry, baseball equipment, let's say. And sports accessories. OK, if I can get that right. But honestly, uh, what I do just to get it going is I'll just do baseball. I'll copy it. And I'll come down here and I'll paste baseball, 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 come down here. And if you go save and back to parent category, it takes you out of the category into the open one. If you click save, it'll take you into the category. So in this sense, I want to click and go back so I can see it. There's my baseball. Now I want to set up categories in that shop. So I click on baseball and now I'm in here. So in here, I could come down here and just start adding products by going here to this baseball department. Or I can add subcategories. For instance, gloves, right? Uh, there's gloves down here. I'm going to copy this like I was talking about. Now, you can always come back in and edit this and put all these keywords and really trick out your meta tags to kind of rank you better in the search engines. But at, at the beginning, I like to just get in there and get going just to get my stuff laid out. I can always go back in later and, and fix it. So there's my gloves department that I've set up right there. Now, if I could set up another one, let's say I want to do bats. You know, balls, helmets, protective gear. I mean, I could do a bunch of these different ones, which I would do. But for now, let's say I just want to click on gloves here. And I don't want to put any more subcategories. I want to actually start adding gloves. So I would come down here in the gloves department and I would click on add a new product. OK, now that I'm in here, usually what I like to do is put name. So I'll type in the name. Let's say it's a Wilson glove. OK, um, I don't know the model number for the six. I'm not going to put one in. But other than that, you've got your reference number, supplier reference, EAN. A lot of this stuff is international stuff. Stuff. I don't really mess with it too much. I might put a reference number in, which would be like the manufacturer, UPC number or something, serial number I put in there. Um, then over here, you've got enabled, disabled. A lot of these options don't really apply to a lot of stuff that I normally mess with, but they're there for you condition usually it's new manufacturers now you got two of them in here uh, there is a way where you can create new manufacturers you click this create and you can create new manufacturers so when you drop this down your choice manufacturers will be in this group same thing for suppliers here that way you can tag the supplier of the product as well as the manufacturer um, come on down here and we've got pack this stuff is really if you're selling something downloadable not too much for an e-commerce type of situation where there's goods um, so I just come down here to pre-tax wholesale and pre-tax retail. The wholesale is hidden from the customer. 
so they can't see that that's really just for you the retail price though is is what you want to put in you don't want to put dollar signs if it was nineteen dollars you just want to do like nineteen ninety nine just like that and if you want to put the product on sale you can check this right here and uh, I will show you how to do that in, uh, in a little bit here anyway we come down here and we've got initial stock now normally if you're not gonna if you're doing a drop shipping type of system you're not really gonna mess with all this because this is gonna be uh, more of your your stock inventory levels so if you're doing a drop shipping you don't really have inventory levels, so you're not gonna mess with this additional shipping cost this is if there's a product that's you know real heavy you want to add to this product 10 more bucks you can do that in here um, anyway um, come down here we've got default category we've got this categories in the gloves now let's say I wanted to put this glove that I'm putting in on the home page in the featured products section I would click check this home as well okay once that's done I know that it's going to copy it there if I wanted to copy this to iPods or accessories I could check these areas and it would copy the product there as well um, so I come down here short description you could type in a short description there um, like uh, Wilson glove again I usually skip that because it's kind of redundant from the title so here you you know you would put uh, glove for uh, professional player you know um, let me mess that up there player you know etc etc as far as what the products details are you come down here tags is like um, on the home page when you see there will be some big like words that you can click on that will tag this product so tags for this product would be like uh, uh, baseball glove you know um, mitt would be a good tag so those would be some good two tags there accessories if I was selling something that went with this like pine tar or uh, or glove oil or something or a glove cleaner I could put start typing in the glove cleaner if it's already in my store and I can associate this product with it uh, for this I don't have that so I'm just gonna leave that blank so I'm gonna click if I click save I will leave this product and I will go out of it if I click save and stay it will save it but let me keep editing the product so I need to still add my my picture so I'm gonna go ahead and click the save and stay there okay so now that I've got this done, my information, I still need to add my image. So here's the image area. And you click on the images there. And here is the browse button to put an image in for say. Um, for me, I'm going to go here and see about an image I can put in there just to show you guys how to do it. Uh, here we go. And... I will throw in uh, this cool little race car guy right here now it's not a glove but I'm just showing you guys how to put a product in so I would click save and stay again and it updates and here is my picture okay the reason there's a caption for what you want to put but the reason they have this use product cover is I can upload multiple photos to this area um, and you know it's going to want to know what product I want to show on the home page so that's a perfect area to check that right there okay so um, without having a video too long that's how you get a product in you can come down here and click the back to the category area and here we go I scroll down and here's my product if I want to edit my product I can always click on here and go back into edit it okay I'm going to come down here go back to category uh, and if I want to disable the product let's say I want to make it invisible I could click this right here and it will show that it's you know hidden I'm gonna turn it back on and then these buttons over here is the edit button again a trash button and a duplicate button so if I had another product that was pretty much the same I could duplicate that and just go in and edit and change the price or whatever needs to be done um, so let's see right here in the home section remember I copied this product to the featured products area and there you go there's the featured products area if you want to see what the featured products area looks like here we go okay so this right here is the featured products and here's the the uh, buggy I just added so anyway um, that was uh, how to add a product thank you very much and tune in for other ones